Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I'll be building Eagle Moss's Nissan GTR R35. I am on issue 9, stage 34. Now I have a lot to do in this issue, so stay tuned and let's get started. Welcome back. Let's look at the instructions for stage 34, which happens to be the last stage for issue 9. And looks like we installed the fuel tank and some of the chassis parts. So with those parts, looks like we're going to install, like I said, the fuel tank. Now some of those parts we need to get from previous issues parts from magazine 3 which are your half shafts and gear shafts or your drive shafts as we call them here in the US and then the rear suspension assembly from magazine 6 so that's all ready to go for us to install on here uh, we have a lot to do here and we just have the first two steps on this page turn it over we have a total of five steps on the next page where uh, we continue on with this so I'll get the parts out We'll do a close-up of them, and then we'll get started with this build. I will be right back. Here are the parts for stage 34. And like I said, we got the fuel tank here with this, a couple other items. I'll go ahead and pull these out. We'll get a closer look at the parts. Here's a close-up of the parts. Here's our fuel tank. And we received the left suspension board and the right suspension board and what they call fixed access. So these are pins. We're going to be using two of them even though we received four. We got some OM screws, some GM screws, and some GP screws. First step, we'll install the fuel tank. Now it's simply, we've got four points here that will line up to the bottom of the chassis. Plus we have two holes here that line up with the holes that are on the fuel tank itself. So we make sure we line those up just like that. Now we have to turn the chassis over to put the screws in. And I'm holding the panel in place. I'm putting in four GP style screws. Number one. Number two. And number three. It's going to be kind of hard to see that. And number four. And they're tight. And that's how that looks. Next we're going to install the rear suspension and that gets slotted into the rear of the car. Make sure that your shocks themselves here go in through these holes in the fender wells. So when you drop it down in, should drop down just like that. And they are in. Once it's in, we can flip it over. And now we can see how the shocks are coming through the top here. Looks great. And we can start installing some pieces and parts. The first step with securing the rear suspension, we got to secure the gearbox first. And that has three areas. One, two, and three. 
We're going to be using HM screws for that so they go into metal. I'm going to throw some Vaseline down into the hole for those parts. And I'm going to get a hold of it a little bit here, making sure I have a good firm grip on it. And put my first HM screw in in the back. Okay, one started. And get the other one going here. And that one started good. Got one more up front. Go ahead and tighten these down. So now we're going to secure the upper mount of the, the rear suspension and we have to put in four screws and they are OM screws. We got two here, one here and one here and then we have two up front or in the back right there and right there. So I've already pre-lubricated those with uh, Vaseline right here, right here, right here and right here. Put the first one in. Next one. And front one there, or the back one. And there we go. Pretty much secured in there. Looks good so far. All right. Now we'll continue on. Next step, we fit the drive shaft off the transmission, and it has two mounting holes right there that we put screws into. And there we go, just like that. And we will put two GM screws into that. So I'll need to hold this in place while I turn it over. Put our first GM screw in. Good there. And we'll put another one in the back here. And that's tight. Tighten down the front one. Perfect. Turn it back over. And our drive shaft is secure. Next step is to install these other gear shafts, and they call them the lower gear shaft. 
and that simply goes in here on the right lines up with these two holes there once again we use GM screws for that so I need to turn it over I need to turn it over again to do that Got that one. And one more. They are started. So we'll tighten them down. One more. Good. One more shaft to put in. Let's turn it back over. And that is this smaller shaft here. It goes in just like that and goes into these two mounts right there. We will install two GM screws for that. One there. And one right there, I believe. Yep. That's tight. And that's tight. Turn this over again. And there's both our drive shafts are installed. Looks great. The next two steps, step five and six, we uh, secure the left and right suspension assembly, which is our uh, the shock struts. We put a pin in first, just like that. Get the weight off of it, and we put our cap on top of that. They want us to install OM screws for this. I already pre-lubricated the holes. Get one started. And the next one started. And we'll secure that down. Make sure they're tight. Which they are. Next one, we do the same thing to the other side. We'll lift it up, take the pressure off that. Make sure the pin falls down where it needs to. Put our cap on. Now to get my screw ready, so I'll put the cap on. The first one started. Of course I'm lifting the chassis while I do this, it makes it a lot easier.
make sure everything's freed up. And there we go. Actually I have working suspension there. Pretty cool. Looks good. And that completes stage 34. We did a lot here. We installed the, the whole rear suspension on this, uh, the drive shafts, and the shock mounts that are found on the other side. This was a lot of fun. It definitely was a challenge to do, but still, it's, it's you know, I really felt like I was building a model kit here, uh, putting in all these screws and just all the, uh, the detail found in this kit is remarkably just fantastic. I'm, I'm really enjoying this build so far. This is a very technical car to build and I'm enjoying it so far. It's, uh, it's a beast. It is super heavy too. I mean this, this chassis with the rear suspension on it is super heavy. Uh, I'm thinking it weighs close to five pounds just right now as it sits. So you know, head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this if you can right away. This this GTR R35 is fantastic. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get 20,000 subscribers. Every subscription counts. So please hit that little subscribe button down there on the lower right. And I want to thank everybody who currently does subscribe to my channel and who comments to my channel. If you have any questions, please put your questions down in the comments below. I get to them as fast as I can and I try to answer uh, all your questions as I can. If you have any problems with getting in any of your parts or replacement parts or getting any of your issues sent to you, send Eagle Moss an email. They will reply to you eventually. With the COVID-19 going on, it's a little bit delayed. I just I think they're not working full time right now. They're working part-time, but they, you can imagine they probably get a lot of questions. And it just takes a little while for them to respond to you, but they will respond to you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.